Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back along to another episode of the Dairyman's Diary. My name is Frank, as always. I do hope you're doing very, very well. It's a beautiful sunny evening. Uh, we are just fiddling around, stacking some bales. Uh, because the rest of our spring barley is not quite ready to go out yet. So we, we're actually, and we'll show you in just a second here. Grab those in there. We're using a nice shiny new, new to me, bale fork. Uh, with a nice grab on the front here. At least it's ready and made with the brackets on to fit the tiger pouse. Uh, and yeah, it's looking looking pretty good. So we're uh, we're just doing what we can to get these, uh, get these quadrants in and done. Um, you'll notice that we're stacking them on the trailer here. And it's actually just going to go down that track you can see there and into the little barn there so i could have almost got away without stacking them on the trailer but we thought no we'd do it and just keep everything looking tidy and, and ship shape what i need to do is get those all buttoned in a little closer i think do that now wonderful and just get that all tied up a little bit there uh, and yeah, we'll get this field cleared, and that's one that can be put onto the list to get ploughed over soon and get some muck spread onto it. Uh, we've got everything else is drilled, all the other winter barges drilled. We've still got a little bit of winter or spring oil seed rape to do as well. Uh, we're kind of waiting for that one to ripen up and also waiting for combine uh, contractor Roger to free up as well uh, for obvious reasons. So uh, we're going to try and see how that one looks. but. Uh, what we're also going to be doing this evening, I'm currently waiting, the reason we're moving around here is we're waiting for a uh, low loader to appear. A low loader and a wheeled loader because we're going to try and get that burnt out shell of a combine removed today. We're going to try and get rid of it. It's supposedly been taken away by a, a scrap man, really, a combine scrap man. He, he has a big field about a two hours drive away from here which he keeps a whole load of different scrap combines in the various different stages of repair and what he likes to do is sell parts where he can and then the rest of it gets scrapped so he's going to take this away and uh we'll it's gonna be i'm not quite sure how that's going to work to be honest but uh i'm, I'm sure we'll we'll figure that out and uh all i know is that i don't have a loader between the what have I got really? Uh, two actual wheeled loaders and uh, three, two front loaders. I'm gonna load it big enough, so we're we're not gonna touch it. We're gonna leave it be, and we'll see how we get on. Uh, but yeah, so it's gonna be interesting to see what they do. I'm hoping that we get this all sorted out today. It'll be pretty nice, I must admit. Yeah, it should just about be that one on there. Not very tidy at all, but it'll do for now. Like I say, we're just going to kind of roll slowly around the corner, I reckon. Uh, and we'll see how that all looks. And yeah, we're going to get this one all loaded up here. Uh, and then we're going to have a little bit of look, and hopefully very shortly this here, uh, our little our little low loader will arrive here, and we'll get some idea of how we're going to get this all done, I think. All right, folks. Well, we've got one load kind of done. Uh, I'm going to reverse this down the track here. And look what's arrived. That's a big, big, I think it's a Torian loader. It's a big, big brother of the our little wheel loader. And it's uh, the aim, somehow, is for that to uh, help get that bit out of shell onto um, a low loader, I reckon. But we'll see. Uh, what we're going to do, though. It's just look after everything that we can control ourselves, which is just getting these bales taken care of. And now, oh lord, that was close. There's a post. Around there. That was a bad start, Frank. Let's get ourselves lined up here a little more. Right after the race, here we go. So, I hope you're doing very well. Do let me know down below what you're working on. Uh, we'll have to go better than that one again, Frank. Uh, let me know what you're working on, what you're driving, as always, and how your silage, or your harvest, or your hay, or whatever you're working on is going. Uh, always keen to know that. Uh, yeah, we are pushing along. Like I say, we're in a little bit of a lull, waiting for Roger the contractor. Is uh, His books are busy. Uh, and it's proven challenging to get them in, actually, when we need to. So we're doing our utmost to try and make that work. But we'll... Um, yeah, I just don't know what that's going to look like really moving forward. But I guess, hey, I guess we'll figure that out. Ooh. Oh. 
so far all we can kind of do is just keep pushing uh keep cracking along there so um at the moment there the spring valley is probably about fit to go now uh and so we're just gonna have to uh, wait really uh, and see how we go and it's a bit of a mess down here because a lot of bales fell over uh it's quite a lot of straw left here as well uh Quite a bit of this, uh, yeah, quite a bit of last year's straw left over, which is good, because I don't think we're going to get too much of it this time around. But that's going to get all unloaded, and then um, yeah, we'll see how this all goes in terms of them putting everything back together onto that low load there as well. Uh, I think they're going to take away everything. Header, the header's in good working order, though. That could be used by somebody. Uh, the combine looks as if if you grab it, it's probably gonna just start to disintegrate, but I guess we'll I guess we'll see on that front. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we should see. He said that the uh, low loader shouldn't be too far behind him, so hopefully he's uh, he's pretty much bang on there. And um, we'll have to wait and see how that one all looks. I think. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go and get that telehandler anyway, and then we will uh, let's have a walk over here and see. I can hear him. In fact, where is he? Ah, he's there. All right, well, we're going to wait to see what happens here, and we'll see how how we're going to try and do all of this, I reckon. So let's watch the space. gentlemen i'm not 100 sure but i think i've seen it all now that was and is still something quite impressive they didn't even bring any ramps down for that they just kind of did it and i think i've got all i didn't get them when they they lifted the back end of the uh combine up where the walkers were just to drive the truck underneath they didn't get that bit on camera but the rest of it oh oh incredible so they're gonna strap all that down now uh they've decided they're not gonna take the header trailer away which is odd because at the current state that's probably the best bit but uh never mind 
Uh, and yeah, that's gonna be gone. Out of here. Uh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave them to strap it down. They're gonna do other things as well, like get some ladders up and chop off the uh, chop off the ladders, chop off the, the bin lids on the top, which are all, all over the place, twisted and warped. Uh, but we'll let them do their own thing. We're gonna jump back on into the pause here, and we're gonna look at try and get that little uh, field unloaded and see how we get on there. But yeah, heavens, was that ever impressive. I, I didn't really know what I was expecting there. Uh, and there you go. Quite something. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go and just get ourselves started up with a tidy up down in that other uh, straw shed. For now at least. Uh, and then yeah, we'll see how it all comes together. But my heavens. Um, as for the new combine, uh, many of you have been asking there. Uh, I have had a few prices, a few quotes. But we're going to hang on for now because it's very expensive and... We don't need one really now. If we tried to get one sorted out now, we wouldn't get it for about a month or so anyway. Well, no, maybe two weeks. And, uh, well, by that point, we're done. So we've got we've got time really to play on that decision. Uh, and that's exactly what we'll do. We'll use it and we'll see how we get on. Uh, but yeah, what I'm going to do is just try and tie this up somewhat. We'll leave you about there. These bales just took up an absolute tumble. We might actually just get all these ones all carted the way down to the, the lower yard at some point. And we'll just get a straw stacked up here. Got square bales stacked into this uh, other side, I think. That's a good plan. We'll just leave these guys here for now. Wonderful. Good, good, good. But yeah, other than that, we're still doing pretty well. The hay, well, the grassland is dare i say it ready for a third cut so we'll be back out there soon maze is not that far away either which is rather impressive so hopefully again we can get onto that one soon uh and if we can brilliant absolutely brilliant we'll see how it all goes uh gonna stop you about about there wonderful and then yeah oh, we'll shift that one that is moved there as well so usually we'd like to get the shed full um and more often than not, it means that we have to, have to buy a couple of loads in, but we'll we'll probably still have to buy some in, actually. But we'll see, uh, especially with the number of the increase in the number of cattle that we're going to. We'll have to wait and see what that's going to come together like. Uh, but yeah, let's just get this all unstrapped. And hopefully we'll just get it picked up over here. I'll do it. And... I know a lot of people, a lot of a lot of spring barley straw around here this time of year has not done very well at all. Uh, we haven't fared quite as well as we would normally, but then that being said, we also haven't done quite as disastrous, disastrously as many other people. So I guess got to count our blessings on that one. But yeah, a lot of people are doing very poorly here right now. Must be said. But we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll crack on. Oh, I pushed the wrong pedal. Oh, man. There's always one fence I break that. Rubbish. Yeah, we'll see how we get on. Like I say, we're going to be looking to... Um, or being well, at least looking to hopefully get cracking with a little bit of uh, drilling soon. Especially whilst we wait for uh, Roger to arrive. But we'll get these two fields cleared tonight and tomorrow. That's the plan, at least. Once they're cleared, then we can get working on with the plow on the 77. Get those all kind of taken care of nice and neatly. Uh, and we'll see how that all looks. Uh, we're going to try and split this straw as well. We'll take whatever's down at the uh, two fields down by the lower yard. It's going to stay down there for the, the cattle down there, of course. Uh, but we'll see. I just don't think we're going to have enough across either end at the moment. And this lot of against there a little bit. Perfect. Wonderful. All right, so we're going to keep on doing this. We'll get cracking along, and hopefully it won't take us too long before this is all said and done. Uh, and then we'll get you some updates later on down the line. Until then, though... Uh, I just thought this might not be the longest video. I just wanted to try and get some of that combine um, recovery uh, captured, really. And I hope you do enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, for now, I have been Frank, your humble host. And we will see you all in the next one. Until then, though, have yourself a great day. Enjoy what you're doing, as always, guys. And we will see you later. Catch you later.